I was gonna say. Have you ever done like a real polar plunge <laughs> in a lake? No, because I have not. It was ice. <laughs> I was definitely yeah. That's the type of polar plunge I was thinking of. Yeah. Right. Not one in the Valley of the Sun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it, sure it was still cold. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. <laughs> but I could imagine that this time of year in the places where you guys have lived would be incredibly cool. Oh yeah, cool the people who do the like polar that. plunges in the Midwest, my dedicated. Well, power yes. to you. Yeah. More Oof. power to you. <laughs> yep, you would never see me doing that. Well, <laughs> hey, good evening to you in Flagstaff. We're at 26. It's cold. It's been colder though. Yes, yeah, 43 in Sedona, Lake Havasu, you're at 61. And what's going on Pine Top? We're at 29. Nothing on the radar, but on our regional satellite, we've been finding plenty of mid to high clouds. They're just streaming on in from west to east, and that's been the trend all day today. That's all because of this area of low pressure. You see that right there? It's just sitting and spinning to our south. It's kind of helping to draw in a little bit more moisture, and as a result, getting in some of those clouds. Keep in mind, as long as this low is stuck stalled there, eventually that's going to translate to more moisture heading our way. Not quite yet, though. We still have a few more days dry, sun-filled ones, Occasional periods of clouds, but those rain chances will start to sneak back in beginning late Tuesday night into Wednesday. Anything that happens to fall during that time, though, that will be very minor. Late Wednesday night into Thursday, here we go, really ramping things back up again with the widespread rainfall and the mountain snow. And once we get closer, we'll have a much better idea of the storm specifics for you. This is just to give you a heads up once we're approaching middle to the end of next week. We are quiet. Everybody is dry. We'll get you out the door on Sunday morning with a few more of those clouds, especially for the southern half of the state. The high country, you're just soaking up the sunshine all day long. But yes, generally speaking for the entire state, a sun-filled Sunday to dominate and all crystal clear by tomorrow evening into Sunday night. Out there tomorrow morning, sure, it's going to be a cold one. Has it been colder? Absolutely. But you still want to layer up the high country. We're talking about lows in the teens, 20s, 30s. In the lower deserts, we'll start you out in the upper 30s to the lower 40s. If you have that Sunday tea time booked, likely not going to be any frost delays. It has been colder, but not the warmest of mornings either. Middle 60s by lunchtime, we're really bouncing back. Lower 70s by early afternoon. During the afternoon, it is going to be feeling very nice. Look at that. That right there is paradise weather in the lower deserts. Highs in the lower 70s, even for you in the high country. Not too shabby. Highs in the 40s and 50s. Overall, looking like a great winter day. Over these next few days in Prescott, hanging on to highs in the 50s. 60s in Cottonwood, Pine Top, flirting with 50. And into Heber, middle 40s. Now through Wednesday, enjoy. Lower 70s. Once we're hitting the end of next week, better rain chances, especially Thursday into Friday. We're looking at highs in the upper 60s into next weekend.